Good day, ladies and gentlemen. What are you going to play in New World straight away? For me, it's going to be the bow and spear combo. I've been experimenting a lot with that in the Verize, Betas, Alphas, and so ever, and it turns out that is just it for me. I know a lot of like the super axe and everything swinging you around and do their things, but I feel like the spear is for more experienced players that really love to play with their cooldown and especially that like to keep people on the ground. What we're going to be looking at today is PvE and PvP build because there's obviously the build that you're going to be playing when you're PvEing because it's going to be a little bit different to what you can do in PvP. Since in PvP you might want to go for the absolute 100% knockdown ratio whereas for pve you're looking a little bit more for reducing your cooldowns using your skills as often as possible minimizing damage taken and there you have a very interesting combo when it comes down to the spear abilities we're looking at a javelin toss there is a cyclone spinny winny around you have the sweep lags out on the ground perforate is a triple stab that causes rend too then skewer jump poke and a kick that stuns and is able to reduce cooldown too. What we're looking at, obviously, is how do we reduce the damage taken in PvE the most, and how do we get the most damage output too? For example, Skewer is completely useless. That jump stab with the bleed, before the bleed matters in any single way, you already have the monster killed. So we're looking at the Javelin Toss, because the Javelin Toss does weapon damage and staggers, very important cooldown only 15 seconds and if you go for javelin toss you can engage from the distance dude comes running up to you sweep goes on the ground and instantly you don't take damage but you've already done 75 percent weapon damage plus 125 percent weapon damage plus a stagger in case it's needed then targets are knocked down on hit so you can also not only hit them you can also knock them down very good plus Grit is now active during the attack, plus press basic attack during the sweep to follow up with a powerful downward step that deals 125% weapon damage. So what you're essentially doing is you throw your spear, boop, dude comes running up, sweep the lax, stab. Already a damage combo that's going down, especially you throw the spear 15 seconds cooldown. As he's on you, one second, two seconds, three seconds, you almost get that cooldown back up again. Sweep is only 10 seconds and you get a stab in. There, the good thing is, if you sweep and stab, if someone is lying on the ground, what can't he do? He cannot roll away because he's knocked down. Also, with the spear, if you use that close quarter, what happens if someone's knocked down? Oh yeah, they can't get away. So you could perforate them very good. So you're actually making your all spear cooldowns are reduced by 10% on the second hit of the light attack chain. So whenever you go poke poke, your cooldowns go down by 10%, and you can perforate someone, striking him three times in quick succession as he's on the ground. What is he going to do? Plus 15% damage against targets with less than 13% health. Easy. You can just get 15% damage. Plus the last hit of the light attack chain applies slow on the target below 30% health. Technically not needed, but 20% damage against targets with active grid is only good against people that are playing hatchets and that constantly activate grid. So you're kind of going to go for that. Then 20% damage against targets with active grid. That is more against someone that's actually going to be using hatchets, but it gets us here further in the tree. So rent increases to 10% per strike against targets about 50% health. And then targets are staggered if you successfully land all three hits. That's actually really easy to pull off, especially when they're on the ground. Is poke, poke, stagger, poke, poke, stagger. Also works very good in PvE. Then we're going to be following up with headshots, reduced cooldown by 50%. That means you throw the spear seven and a half seconds. You're straight up there. So you throw the spear, hit a headshot. Dude runs up to you one second, two second. Leg sweep, stab, perforate, boom. Second spear. Already a knockdown again. Stab, stab, 10% re cooldown reduction. Leg sweep, perforate. That you see where this is going with this spear. You're having a very good combo into combo into combo. Especially if you stagger with a perforate, 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 you would have the chance to lend a heavy attack, not a light attack. Two and a half damage per meter traveled plus. So the further the target is away, the more damage you'll do on him. We'll also be gaining successful heavy attacks, reduce all spear cooldown by 15%. So as we said, you knock someone down with his. With this, you do them, you have no cooldown on the perforate right now. Heavy attack, boom, 15% cooldown. Works really good in dungeons too because heavy attack, heavy attack, cooldown down, bop, bop, bop. 
keep doing what you do light attack light attack so whatever attack you do if heavy or light you reduce your cooldown so you can keep stabbing people also if you do a heavy attack you can gain fortify for example that would give you 15 percent damage reduction if you want to not bad then you're going to get plus 30 percent stamina regen when your stamina is below 50 percent so that you're able to use 25 percent damage while stamina is full which actually works perfectly because most of the time in pve your stamina is full so with this you're straight up just have plus 25 percent damage especially when you're doing dungeons you're not going to be rolling around that much digi dodging and other shenanigans no it'll be there also the first successful hit with an ability within 2.0 seconds of dodging reduces all spear cooldowns by 20 percent is fantastic you can dodge sweep boom instantly 20 percent damage reduction on the spear this all works just so perfect together you have critical chance abilities but why would you go for critical chance abilities when you have to consider that everything you're doing if you're poking them in the back is a critical hit so why increase critical chance if standing behind an opponent is critical hit straight away so that is a no need last but not least very important part here merciless strength plus 25 percent damage against knockdown targets so essentially you knock someone down 25 percent damage plus you knock someone down with a spear 25 percent damage plus you reduce cooldowns so you have sweep as early as possible again 25 percent damage plus you don't use your stamina 25 percent damage plus with this you will barely take any damage in pve ever and especially if you pair this together with the bow because the bow with a power shot so what you can do is you can use the bow's power shot bam land a super hit throw the javelin straight away afterwards and your opponent already has half hp as he's just approaching you leg sweep stab perforate done next opponent so with your cooldown combination you can just delete every single pve opponent without taking ever a single piece of damage and that's why i love the spear so much and the whole thing works in pvp too now if we're talking a 1v1 spear build like running around open world being a little bit more ready for pvp I think the reality is that you're most likely not going to be hitting your perf rate that much because people are just way more agile, way more flicking around and other shenanigans. But you can leave the left tree more or less as it is because you're still reducing your cooldowns and everything. You might want to go for the more stamina when it comes down to PvP because there's going to be more dodging happening. So as I said, you want to go for this and this in case of the more stamina for the pvp but very important here now as your last potential skill you want to go for five percent critical chance on light attacks because you really want to have the chance to get the stamina back i mean i said you don't need this because you're realistically going to hit him in the back in pve but in pvp you can't regard that also here the cooldown on the left hits poke 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 is not that important because you're more or less going to chain your abilities and you actually don't have time to go for the refreshing jabs as it works in pve so you're going to do that you're still going to go for the huge damage boost on down targets and then we're going to take the vault kick the vault kick closes a huge distance so you can be like five six seven meters away from a target to close the distance plus gain in power after successful hits on targets below 50 percent health increasing damage for five seconds or 20 percent so by hitting them with your kick you get 20 percent more damage for five seconds and continuous motion cooldowns for other spear abilities are reduced by 30 percent on successful hit so you're going to dodge forward bam hit them and then reduce your cooldowns tremendously as they are stunned you can sweep you can javelin them so you can use your other cooldowns to then keep them even more knocked down so your essential plan is to javelin keep them down sweep keep them down stab them then kick them reduce the cooldowns for sweep and the others and rinse and repeat do it again they'll never stand up plus the first successful hit with an ability within 2.0 seconds of dodging reduces all spear cooldowns by 20 percent so being able dodge hit and then kick again bop 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 keep doing the do obviously you want to be able to have also the last hit on the light attack chain applies 30 percent slow for three seconds to targets below 30 percent health if they try to run away and that's where you 1v1 spearing people way easier down now the thing is we don't only have one-on-ones we don't only have open world in pve there's also wars this gigantic 50 versus 50 thing and that 
all looks a little bit different. So let's reset the whole tree. Because in 50-50, you might have to charge a point full of people. So what we're starting with is we're going to take deadly consistency. You're most likely not going to hit them, but we're going to have a first one and that shouldn't be Javelin. We're going to go for sweep together with, again, grid and press basic attacks during the sweep to stab someone if we already have them down. And then we're going to take the Cyclone because the Cyclone is amazing. Spin attack that is 100% weapon damage, pushes targets back three meter and applies 50% slow for three seconds. Imagine heavy armored you running onto a flag where a lot of opponents are stunning and you're going Cyclone or you're being attacked by three or four people at the same time and you just want to escape Cyclone. You want to get away. You have a getaway ability with this. You just sweep them. You can get away. You can Cyclone them. You can get away and restore 25 stamina per hit. And then grid is now active during the attack, making your attack is unstoppable. So you're going to be there being unstoppable, turning in a circle plus 25% damage against knockdown targets. So again, if you knock them down and if you hurt them, followed up now with 5% critical chance on light attacks. We talked about it. You want to have that. The super slow on targets with 30% health or less. So you could apply the slow and the slow and the slow, the sweep slow and slow, 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 slow. And if you have people with grid, you can go for that too. Technically, we could here go for the jabs, but we're going to definitely go for 30% less plus the super cooldown. And again, the full vault kick road. 15% critical chance against targets with bleed might make sense because we're going to be fighting a lot of opponents and they have other debuffs from other people. And that's why we're also going the debuff route here. 15% damage per debuff on target because realistically, people are going to be debuffed. So that's how we're going to be able to deal more consistent damage on them. Now, what's going to be your build? What are you looking for? Is it excited for PvE, PvP? What are your weapon combinations? We'll definitely be covering in the next month and weeks more of New World again. And we'll also be going down on other weapons. But mainly, it's going to be spear and bow for me. So you see probably me in action using actually the spear and bow showing you off what I pretty much talked about here, that it then works and worse, works in expeditions, that it also works in whatever you could imagine. I wish you a fantastic good time. Don't forget to check out the other new world guides on this channel. We get quite some content for that. I wish you a fantastic good time, good day with the launch, with the game. And hopefully you'll choose to become a spear and bow soldier just like me. Pony of out.